Hello guys, so here it is, episode one of the Frank and Scorch YouTube channel. I know a lot of you have been asking for this for a long time, um, and I keep making false promises and saying I'm going to get something put together and then I don't, so I finally pulled the trigger and I've uh, made some content for you lot. I'm going to be uploading it onto YouTube and I'm going to be trying to keep on top of it and upload some stuff, well as often as I can really. So for those of you who don't know, this is the Franken School. It's a 1989 Mark IV Ford Escort. Obviously, originally it was front wheel drive. It was only a little 1400L, but I've converted it to rear wheel drive using mainly Mazda RX-8 running gear. And uh, it's got a BMW M54 B30 turbo engine with a HX35 whole set turbo. Um, homemade inlet and exhaust manifolds. Homemade, well everything, homemade everything. Homemade floor pans. All the bodywork's been done here, I've painted it here. Looks a lot nicer than that before. I'll uh, get some photos uploaded as well so the guys who haven't been following me can see. But um, yeah, really, I'm looking for some suggestions, some suggestions on uh, what you want to see going forward. And uh, yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe, get it around, get me some views. I'll see you later. Right guys, so today I'm going to be replacing the tunnel that's missing. Um, over the last few days I've reinstated the passenger floor, This is all obviously damaged in the accident. This has all been replaced since I've pulled it all straight. Obviously I've used the donor car, so basically it's a reshell. Floor took me two and a half years to build, all the drivetrain and running gear. So, for those of you who don't know, it's a M54 B30 BMW straight six engine, which I've turbocharged. Um, Mazda RX8 front and rear axles, so it's all custom, obviously custom fitted into the shell. All the RX8 geometry remains the same. Wheelbase is obviously shorter. That's a BMW 5 speed ZF gearbox manual. I had a little bit of a whoopsie in the car um, in the last year. So it was all in the setup stages, and I've documented it on my page. But for those of you who don't know, I uh, run out of talent and spun into a lamppost at about 45, 50 mile an hour, I'd say. Um, and wrecked it. So this is probably about, well, it's been a year since the accident, but it's probably about in total three months worth of work to get back to this stage. It's outside in the element, so it's not looking too pretty at the moment, but this will all be sorted out in due course. The place of the rear end, the boot floor was all bent. This rear quarter from the inside was all smashed. The roll cage done its job. But um, obviously the cage is going to be coming out and a brand new cage installed. I say it done its job. It did bend a little, as all roll cages would. And once I rebuild it, it will be a non dash dodger type. So I'll bring it down, right down here have gussets everywhere so anyway stop, stop me talking waffling on let's get on with it mm -hmm. 